Did you know that there's a free AI agent that can literally make phone calls for you? This means it could call up restaurants to make a reservation for you. It can call up your car insurance to negotiate a new price for you and anything else that you could think of so that you don't have to talk on the phone with people. Or maybe you didn't know that the first real-time computer autopilot just dropped and this is basically an agent that takes over your computer, takes over your mouse and can complete any task that you would at superhuman speeds. Well, those two things are nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna know about my favorite AI agent tools that you could start using today because you don't have to know how to code in order to use them. Okay, now the first tool I wanted to show you is going to be Gen Spark Super Agent. This literally came out like 48 hours ago and you can do a bunch of crazy things with this. If you come to all agents, you will be able to see right here that this is an agent that can call for you. For example, it could check if something's in stock, it can book a table for you, it can do anything that you want. They also have agentic deep research. This can go through and basically do deep research but with agents that are able to do a bunch of different things. You could have them cross check things, you could do data research or you could have the super agent actually go through and plan a travel itinerary for you and then if you approve of it it can have ai call to make reservations for the hotel for the restaurants and a bunch of other things and if we scroll down here you'll also see that they have a bunch of other basic agents but what i really like are these advanced agents because it's pretty crazy that you could do these things in addition to that there are a bunch of other use cases that you could use this for that are mind-blowing like for example, look at this. This literally says, hey, here's a YouTube video. Please make it into a 10 page slide deck with a sleek design and relevant images. So essentially what this did was went through, it understood exactly what this YouTube video was, and then it went through and got a bunch of different images here and actually created a slide deck out of this. And if we click on this, we could see right here, the actual slide deck that this created, which is insane. It watched a YouTube video and then made a slide deck out of this in literally just a few seconds. Or if we come over here, we'll see that this one was analyzed global music trends, listener behavior patterns across different demographics in 2025, and then visual the data, and then visualize the data with charts and graphs, add in pictures to make it visually appealing, and please make sure the insights are supported by examples, make 10 slides. So again, we scroll down right here, we could see all of this, we could click on this, and look at this. This literally went through and did a bunch of market research, created slides for this, and this is insane. And then over here, we see I'm a fashion brand, this is the product I wanna promote, find 10 fashion influencers with 10 to 50K followers, get their emails, draft personalized emails to each of them and put it all in a doc and then ask if they're interested in selling my product. It went through, it actually did this. If we come down here and click on this, we will see that it literally has everything that you need here. It has the email, has the Instagram, has followers, has a location, has a style, and then it made a personalized email here. This is insanity, and this literally just came out. If you haven't seen this yet, you need to run to check this tool out because it's crazy. That was just the first one. I still have several other tools that I wanna show you, but before we get into them, please make sure you smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this almost every single day, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Now this next tool is going to be generalagents.com slash ace. Now this tool is not out yet. You need to sign up for the research preview, but this is insane. So if we scroll down here, basically what this is, is a super intelligence on your computer. It controls your mouse and your keyboard and then can do a bunch of different things. For example, if we come over to creative right here, slow down the clip to 50% and then split the clip once with the cut tool and export the clip to MP4. And we could see that this is literally going through and editing a video here. This is absolutely insane. If we come up here to procurement, book an Airbnb in Cairo on May 1st. This goes through and is actually doing this. This tool is insane. This is superhuman speed. This is way better than any other tool that I've seen that can take over your computer and actually do things for you. Again, using your mouse, using your computer. If we come into data entry and processing, zip these files, then upload the zip to Google Drive and Chrome, and then text my boss the link and look at what this does. Again, this is also in 1x speed. This is how quickly this is doing all of this, which is absolutely insane. It can basically do anything that you tell it to. And if we come down, we could see that there are a bunch of other different things here. For example, development, select the traceback and error message file and file an issue on MacDowd slash Tensor Gym on GitHub with the title error and a good description. 
this is going through, and this is doing that. So I would strongly recommend that you come up here and sign up for the research preview because once you get full access to this, this is going to be absolutely nuts. Now, the next tool that we need to discuss here is going to be convergence.ai because they just released a brand new feature. If you have not seen this tool before, essentially, this is a bunch of AI agents here. If we come over here, we could filter by all the different tests that you want to get done, and you can also do it within deep work or not in deep work. Deep work essentially is just their most powerful model, which has a built-in team of AI workers that handle complex workflows. In addition to that, this has now been broken out because they have a new feature to run parallel agents at the same time. So the way that this used to work in the past is it would have one agent that went through and basically did every step of the task that you asked it to do. But now it works completely differently because it will now break out all your tasks into parallel agents. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But if we come over here, you can save your credentials in here. For example, you're logging to Gmail, you're logging to YouTube, you're logging for whatever. You log in for Airbnb or Expedia if you wanted to book flights. You could also have files here. So basically you can have have this generate files and you can download those files all in one place. If you have it do research for you or something like that, you can come into templates. Basically, anything that you do, you can turn it into a template. In addition to that, you can turn it into an automation and you could schedule it out to regularly happen all the time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a new chat. We're going to turn on deep work right here and we're going to find one of these that looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to come over to research right here and we're going to come over here and we are going to look at this one right here. So website scanner agent created by convergence. Basically, this will scan as many pages as you can of a certain website and provide an overall summary of their offerings, their product, their mission, and so on. This would be great for something like competitor research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this website right here bl101.com. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring this back in here. I'm going to enter this value in here and I'm going to click on run task. And now what this is going to do is this is actually going to go through and do this. So we could see right here that this proxy is now acting and that a bunch of different agents have been spun up in order to get this to happen. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show off to you right here is that we can open up a new chat and do something else over here. For example, if we come over to marketing right here, we could come over here and we could say something like content strategy scraper. Make a list of titles of videos published by channel name on social media platforms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put vidIQ in here and I'm going to put this to be YouTube. I'm going to click on run task and then that's going to go through and it is going to pull this list. And as we can see over here, here, we have a bunch of ongoing tasks. We have a bunch of completed tasks. And this is crazy because essentially what this is going to look like is you aren't going to be doing work anymore. Instead, you're just going to be orchestrating all these different AI agents. So you're going to have your to-do list. You're going to bring that over here, set all these AI agents loose. They're going to go through and they're going to complete your to-do list for you. Now, if we come over here, we can also come over to proxy view to see exactly what this is doing on all these different pages as it's completing these tasks. In addition to that, if we come over to any task that has been completed before and load it up, you're going to see exactly what we could do with this once it's done. So if we come over here, I had this right here be a sales lead agent and I had it basically find a bunch of different startups in a specific city so that I could reach out to all their CEOs. Again, this is just a theoretical situation, but what I could do here is I could share this with somebody if I wanted to show them how they could do it. I could automate this task so that it happens all the time, or I could make a template of this task so that I could change out what city it is and what things it's actually looking for. And then from there, what we would be able to do is basically automate this process so we could have this go through and do this not only for San Francisco, but for hundreds of cities. So now let's look at this because this is done. Make a list of videos published by vidIQ on YouTube. We could come over here. This literally created a PDF here that we could download or we could view it in full screen. So I'm going to click view in full screen right here. And this literally gives me a bunch of their different video titles that they've used. And now I can take this and give it to ChatGPT and have it spit out a bunch of different versions of this or Claude, or I could literally, again, build an AI agent that is now going to take this, put it into ChatGPT, and then give me different variations here. And I want you to think about the possibilities of this, because this can now go through and basically manually scrape websites or do whatever you want it to do. And this is a game changer. 
Now, and then the final AI agent tool I want to show you is going to be Lindy.ai. Essentially, what this is going to allow you to do is build out AI agents that can do anything that you want. They have a bunch of different templates here broken out by different scenarios. For example, they have it for social media, they have it for marketing, they have it for sales, they have it for a bunch of different things. For example, you could chat with YouTube videos. You could do a calendar audit to make sure that you're actually spending your time on the right things. You could turn podcasts into blogs. You can query your files. You could have it find emails. You could have it do a bunch of different things. For example, an inbound phone call agent that makes phone calls incredibly easy or write engaging Twitter posts or LinkedIn posts in seconds or optimize your Amazon store. There are literally a bunch of different things that you could do with this. But what's even more important is if you come into new Lindy right here, you could start with a template or you could start from scratch. So we could start from scratch right here, build out a bunch of different triggers where they literally have hundreds of different integrations with a bunch of different apps and a bunch of different tools literally everything that you could think of. And then you start with this trigger, you could have it perform an action, you could have it search a knowledge base, you could have it enter a loop, which is basically just going to have that thing happen up to 500 times, you could set a condition, or you can enter an AI agent and choose exactly what model it's going to be using over here. This right here is going to help you without being technical, without knowing how to code, build out a bunch of different AI agents that can do a bunch of stuff for free. And by the way, they literally give you 5,000 credits once you start with this. Now, if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here that walks you through a new AI tool store that just came out that's going to allow you to access thousands of AI tools for free. I'll see you over there.